Okay, YouTube, 116 Walker. Before I get on with the main video, I just wanted to show you a regular receptacle, outlet, whatever you call them. Black, okay, which is your hot. If you have a, a Romex, now I know this isn't Romex, just pretend it is. And, uh, you know, us normal people, we can pretend this is a, a nice length of Romex. Uh, those of you that can't, you know, just pretend it's a biodegradable cable made of unicorn farts or some crap, whatever. But the function remains the same. All right, black is hot, okay, and that goes on your copper-colored lugs. White is neutral, and that goes on your silver lugs. Now, these lugs are a little dirty because I pulled this out of a house I was working on a while ago. You can see it's used. And your green wire, or if it's just a bare wire, will go on your green lug or your ground lug. Okay, very simple setup. Hot, neutral, ground. All right, easy peasy. All right, and then, uh, well, if that's not enough, they do tell you, let's see here. I don't know if I can get in there. See the silver, the little writing in there? White. The copper, hot. All right, so it's really hard to do it wrong, but it's a good idea to do it right. So, all right, on to the video. All right, YouTube, one with six Falconer here. Um, I'm pretty drunk. So I thought this would be a perfect time to do some uh, electrical work, you know. Um, <laughs> not really. Anyways, <clears throat> the proper way for, for a uh, receptacle to be hooked up, all right, is uh, you got a three-prong receptacle. I think you can see it with all these other wires around here. If you got a multimeter, you just stick your your ground or neutral, whatever you want to call it, in the, in the bottom prong there. And... Uh, your large, the large prong is, is ground up here. That's, that's your, this is ground. The small one is hot, okay? Um, so if you stick, you got a multimeter, stick your probe in, in the, in the uh, bottom ground here, and you should have no volts in the, in the big ground there, which, let's see, it's like 0.3 volts. Now if you put it in the small one, we're at 122, 123 volts which is the way it's supposed to be hooked up, all right? So these outlets here are wired up correctly, okay? Now I'll show you one that's hooked up incorrectly. Let's go over there. Okay, so we have here a uh, GFI that is functioning. You can see if you hit the test, shut stuff off, reset, comes back on. But it's not wired correctly. Um, if we put our our probe in down here and we, I'm trying to get everything in shot here, okay we got the probe in the lower and we take our, our red probe, put it in the the big slot here which is supposed to be ground you'll see where oh come on now well, there we go alright so we're at 122 volts if we put it in a small slot here, which is supposed to be the hot, you'll see we're not we're not getting anything. Make sure my ground is still good in there. All right, so you know we're less than a volt there, but on the on the ground side. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of hard doing this one hand and trying to keep the camera view. But this one's hooked up backwards. All right, between your your ground or neutral and your hot. Um, so I'm gonna pull it apart and switch the wires. Hopefully it's here and it's not someplace else. Because I mean this is an old house. It's got has a uh, knob and tube wiring. Has the old two wire cloth wiring. Um, it has modern Romex in there. I mean it has everything. So we'll see. I'll be back. Here, I pulled the GFI all the way out, and uh, so the white was over here on the copper side, which is hot. Right? Not where it says right here, white wire, which is the silver lugs. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh boy. So anyways, that's, uh, that's kind of funny. Alright, I'll get it hooked back up and uh, I'll check it out. Okay, so I've got this uh, switched around correctly. So now we'll see here. Um, 
get the ground probe in the ground. Now I'll go to the skinny prong. Come on. Ugh. Well, there we go. And now if we go to the to the fat prong, the ground prong, we'll get you in there. And we are where we should be. Go to the there we go. So now that's wired up correctly. So I'll just show you one more thing in closing here. Okay, so if you're looking at an uh, in a extension cord, just a two-prong two extension cord like this, all right, the fat end, <clears throat> I can't tell if it's focused or not, the, uh, the fat end is going to be the ground, all right, skinny end is hot, all right, same with the plug, fat, ground, skinny, hot. Now, I, I found in my junk pile here, here's like an old school wall adapter, all right. There's no difference in the prongs. This is like the old, uh, when everything was still running knob and tube wiring. Then we got newer old school. All right, I mean, these are still pretty old, but see, they have the the uh, new setup here, ground and hot. But you'll see the, the, the prongs, all right, they're not just skinny at the at the tip. I mean, it's fat, it's fat the whole way there, and that one's skinny the whole way. So they used more material in the old days. Now... They just make the... Come on, you son of a bitch. Well, now they just make the tips fatter. Everything else the same size, so... Alright, that's it, so... Whatever the video was about, I can't remember, but... See ya, bitches!